Oh, okay, let's get into the second part of this. wasn't so clear before. Sorry about that. This is the part two about this whole um, the Aton Pats or the Aton Pates conspiracy. Now, what we were saying was that um, we recall this when we were growing up. You understand because we're in our manhood or forties. You understand, so therefore that was thirty-three years ago. This is the black guy right here, um, Arthur Neil Miller, who they seem to be trying to peg it on him. They're digging up in his shop or something. They're saying he's very cooperative. You know how they do that thing. He's very cooperative so far from someone. He's a person of interest, you know. We're, 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 we're optimistically cautious, rah, rah, rah. You know, they use that particular lingo. You know, if you've been following that lingo from case to case, you usually see how it usually works out. So it seems like they are, this is day two or something like that, and they're digging up for this Aton Pates, you know, and he remains, even though in 2001 he was um, uh, declared, um, legally declared dead, you know. So it's interesting, like, how do they know that this kid, right here is 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 dead now his jewish connection is also interesting since they had um i think his his grandfather or uncle or somebody like that who's a rabbi it's just saw his face recently we really didn't see a kind of a jewish connection to it, it was more like kind of a soho kind of thing you know beatnik you know that bohemian some sort of bohemian, you know, that's the Soho area is a kind of a bohemian area. Now, you, you know where we can take all of this, but it's not just to take it there, you know, for a conspiracy theory. But one thing that we notice very interesting, there's no mention of the man-boy love association. In fact, th th that shocked even me growing up. I think I was like, what, maybe about 11 or so, roughly about 11 years old when this happened. And my parents were very, very protective, too, you understand, because as they would say, there's all these sickos. You know, even back then, they, they called them sickos. There were all these sickos running around. Now, one thing that we noticed that there's no kind of even commentary not even like there is on the Internet. The Internet still remembers. When we look over the Internet right here, we talk about, you know, a photograph that it was linked, you know, one piece of evidence that lost credibility um, over two years. Um, over two years, is it man, boy, love, or child molestation or molest the parents? Um, since the link of NAMBLA, you know, to to with Aton Pates, so forth and so on. So there's a lot of information about that that actually points to, you know, what was circulated at the time. You know, in fact, the case had kind of ended or died down in the media. You know what I'm saying? Not saying that it was a false link, but now we see the apologists for this. You understand? Because remember, the man-boy love association is a part of this whole um, so-called uh, homosexual, the, the homosexual agenda, which, uh, you know, behind that is very interesting how they've used known uh, psychological techniques, you know, through media and other things to kind of change, you know, popular and public opinion, you know, through movies and TV shows and so forth and so on that people have been exposed to over the years. So, um, the outrage even probably now wouldn't even be so great because, but there's a, you know, there's a borderline link with this man-boy thing and the whole homosexual agenda, you know what I mean? But it's something that is, is a strictly a kind of a European, you know, Europeans and, and Greco-Romans, Hadrian, the Roman emperor, he had this man-boy, you know, love association. In fact, we were watching part of a movie the other day it was about um, Oscar Wilde, and it was a court thing, and he was also an older man who was in a man-boy um, love association. So you can see there's a lot of, you know, it's talking about the child abduction thing right here, you know, um, you know, a link with Nambla, but, like, you know, they don't even talk anything. 
You know what I'm saying? They don't even talk anything about um, this man, boy, Nambla, you know, Namby Pamby, uh, man, boy, um, love association thing. So after 33 years, this particular story, you understand, this particular story comes back front and center. Hey, you have gay histories. You see, because the popular fiction is that a, a homosexual could not be a child molester. A homosexual cannot be a pedophile. This is the popular kind of mythology that is put out there. In other words, you cannot be an abuser just because of your so-called sexual persuasion. But most of the links with this um, Nambler thing, you know, have, have actually, you know, been kind of suppressed because there are more ones in this culture, if you look at even like we said, Oscar Wilde thing, you know, this Oscar Wilde, the so-called great poet, so forth and so on in England that was brought up on, on sodomy charges, you understand, on, I don't think it was more than 100 years ago, within the last so-called uh, century or so was this. So this Aton Page thing, there's much more to this than really meets the eye. You know what I mean? There's a whole agenda behind this. Don't be surprised if, you know, they find something that they say, well, it must be this guy, you know, because they want to close this particular case, you know, after, you know, 33 or so years. But there's a bigger agenda that's afoot here, people, you know, because I recall this growing up, and this was some, you know, this was, this was some programming. It, it's, it's been in the news almost as much with much more channels and everything. It's been in the news this much. I mean, you know, may you know, may may the Almighty have mercy on this boy's soul, you know what I mean? I mean, even being from our perspective a Gentile, you know, or you know, whether white, black, so forth and so on, you know, because what really happened to this to this six year old child? You know, I mean I mean you know <clears throat> It seems like they're trying to pin the tail on on a donkey. You know, this is another case of trying to pin the, you know, pin the proverbial tail on the donkey. And it seems like, you know, I guess a lot of y'all can only guess, you know, who the donkey is going to be. But it's just so interesting how the news has totally um, disassociated this whole um, man-boy um uh, man boy love association you know link you know that was so prominent in the media and now we're reading you know that they you know that the evidence was discredited so forth and so on but we don't hear nothing about that when they kind of review the case and they talk about how it was 33 years ago it's, it's kind of very very interesting that one aspect that they don't talk about is that whole man, boy, homosexual, pedophilic, Greco-Roman, um, European tradition, you know, that even manifested as recently, you know, among certain ones and ones in the Bohemian and some, you know, so whether it was something sexual going wrong or, you know, whether it was some sort of a sacrifice, remember the the Levy Clatsby, you know, that, that that boy Aaron Levy and 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 that boy that was, was kidnapped and chopped up and so forth and so on. You know, I mean, think about it. They're expecting to find the body right there and they didn't think to check for the body then with all that attention that was in the media. And now thirty three years later because some dogs smelt something somehow and they spoke to this, this, this guy and he's very cooperative and he's been very sick. I think they're just trying to close the deal. You understand? Let's, let's watch and, you know, let's watch and pray, look and see. All right? So that's, that's our point on that, you know, um, the Aton Pates thing. It's interesting how they don't talk about the uh, homosexual, pedophilic, um, um, man-boy love association thing that was prominent in the news all the time that we, that I recall, 
you understand, hearing, watching the news almost every night for, for weeks and weeks or months, it seemed like, you know, and then all of a sudden it just disappeared. But they already declared that he's dead, you know, without a body, and they're already saying that, well, he can't be anywhere else. He has to be. You know, this community is saying that he has to be, and the police are saying that he has to be somewhere on the block. You know, I mean, I wouldn't put it past some of these people to even bring in the body and put it there, but, you know, that's, you know, that's another story. Most people are, you know, happy to see CSI, you know, and, and law and order in, in their streets, in their backyards. But anyway, brothers and sisters, uh, Shalom Rastafari uh, will link in the forwards. Shalom. <laughs>